Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry. And today we're talking about Eddie Goldman, who opted out for the 2020 season. Before we get started, just a reminder, if you want to leave a message or a comment, use the fan line below. Use that link um, and that will take you to the fan line where you can leave a voice message and I'll put it on the show. All right. So uh, as I talked about, uh, not even a few days ago, um, Laurent Duvernay was the first person from the Kansas City Chiefs offensive guard um, who decided to opt out for the 2020 season. The opt out clause was created and negotiated by the NFLPA as they returned to um, training camp. And so uh, players that leave voluntarily get 150000 for their salary. People that are high risk and leave they get three hundred fifty thousand, um, but either way, they're leaving for the season. And so, when I talked about it on that episode, I was like very on the fence. Like I felt like it'd be somewhat like the NBA, where you might have some intriguing moves, but for the most part, by and large, people aren't going to do it. And so that that's kind of how I felt. Like there'd be too much pressure. I didn't think there'd be any big names. And so far, there's not a crazy amount of people, but I have to be honest, it's a little more than I expected would have uh, opted out. And there's definitely some names on there that people weren't expecting, um, but it's not the NBA. The NBA is star power. So in the NFL, they've always had a next man up mentality. And even if it was like a Pat Mahomes or someone big, I, I, I don't think it would have really changed anything. But it, either way, there's there's people there that we didn't expect, including for the Bears, Eddie Goldman. And um, much like I said with Laurent, who uh, especially him, because he's a medical doctor, practicing medical doctor, for those that think it's fake, um, especially him, but everybody else, I applaud you 110,000%. Uh, do that. Make that choice because it is a choice. It's a medical risk. And, you know, for whatever reason, those out there that want to disagree with it for, you know, it's sad in this country, like most things has become politicized. And so the people want to disagree with it. But the fact is, it's a medical condition. And there's uh, people that have to make that choice, not only about themselves getting sick, but about the ability to spread it to other people, which is pretty what pretty much what Laurent said, and that he can't knowingly spread that disease, you know, to family or other people or to his teammates. And so he doesn't want to be a part of that. And it might be a different reason for everybody. But either way, kudos to you, because they're making the hard choice that the NFL can't make, that these businesses can't make, that a lot of these schools can't make. And that is to shut it down which is the most effective way. There's no arguing. That's the most effective way to do it. Um, this isn't essential stuff. And so, but since they can't make those hard choices, they got to leave that choice up to the player. And kudos to everybody that has made that tough choice to put their safety and health and their family safety and health over everything else. So on the football side with Eddie Goldman, Here's the thing. I mean, I've talked about Eddie for a while and I've known Eddie coming out and all that. Eddie's a good player, really, really good uh, nose tackle. Um, but I don't think he's the type of player that people were trying to lot him out to be, especially a few years ago. Uh, what happens is, you know, when you make some plays in the highlights or if you get awards, especially awards, People just assume you're good, and especially when a team does well, they assume you're good. Just like how really good players on losing teams don't always get much publicity, the opposite is true as well. So um, because the team is doing well, because of all that, it was I think his name got pushed up in the hype meter more so than it was. And, you know, I go to the film, and I've shown um, film after each week, and when we look at things, Eddie, uh, like I said, is really good nose, but he isn't, you know, uh, Michael Pierce uh, type level. He isn't a Lodi Nada type level. He isn't, um, you know, a Snacks Harrison, Linval Joseph. He's never been that type. He's really solid, really good, but he's never been that great elite type that some people try to act like he was. And so we've had plenty of issues with him on the field. 
um, as well as when he wasn't off the field. And so um, as far as our run defense. So for me personally, I think it's a loss, but I don't think it's a great loss. Like some people are making it seem like it's a uh, catastrophic loss. The thing is, we we are eye front, and the nose is the most important in the eye front. It makes everything work. But like the most of the league, over 70% of the time, we're in the nickel. And so you could have Akeem Hicks and uh, Bilal uh, Nichols in the interior. You could have a, a Nick Williams and a Akeem Hicks or whoever else some guys we bring in. So it's not like he's essential to be in all those times. And – we know with both coordinators, we've been heavy rotation on the D line. Now I don't expect that to change. I didn't expect that to change this year. We put different bodies in there all the time. And so is it, you know, going to be catastrophic that he's not in there? And I, I don't think the answer is yes. I, I don't think the answer is yes. I think that uh, it's nice to have Eddie Goldman there, but I don't think it's going to completely collapse our defense. We got playmakers in different positions on the field for that defense. And again, I, I don't think he's the run threat that everybody thinks he is. And again, really good player, but I don't think it's going to like crumble our defense that he won't be on the field. And like I said, I don't know his snaps, uh, but I do know we rotate a lot. And I know that, you know, as a nose, it's very important. But when you're on the interior and nickel, it's not the exact same type of thing. And that's the defense we're going to play the most. So, you know, that's, that's how I feel for me. I, I don't think it's a catastrophic loss. We'll bring in some other people. Um, most likely we'll see. But, um, I still think it's pretty, pretty, um, What's the word I was about to say? Um, not guaranteed. It, it, it's pretty possible that Nick Williams, uh, I believe we retain Nick Williams, that Nick will end up uh, taking that spot over. So not too pressed about it. But it will be interesting to see if there's any other players that follow suit. So go to the comment section. Let me know what you think about Eddie Goldman uh, sitting out for this season. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, stay up and bear down.